Hi, this is Brendan from Universal Development. I want to talk to you about the resident portal, mainly how to create an account. Once you create an account, you'll be able to go to the resident portal and do things like pay your rent online, you can see a copy of your resident ledger, you can place an online service request, you can see a calendar of events to stay up to date with the activities going on at your community, and you can see newsletters and other documents that the manager may have posted as well. So let's get started and I'm going to take you step by step through the process of how to create that account. The first thing that you need to do to create a resident portal account is go to your property's website. If you don't know what your property's website address is, you can try to Google your property or you can contact the property manager and they'll be able to tell you what the address is. So once you're at your property's website, you want to find the residence link. It may be that your property website looks something like this. If that's the case, the resident link is in the upper right hand corner. So once you find that residence link, go ahead and click on it. And this is going to bring us to the resident portal login page. Since we are trying to create an account, we want to click register. This is going to open up another window that has some fields we need to fill out. First we have to choose a login name and there are some guidelines below it to help you create that name. Next you need to put in your first name, your last name, and your unit number. Now the information in these three fields has to match exactly to what's in the property management software. So say for example your name is Andrew but you go by Andy and Andrew is the name that the property manager used um, when getting your information into the software then Andrew is the name you're going to have to put in here. Also, we have some properties that have letters before their unit number, and these letters designate the street names. If you're at one of those properties, you'll need to put those in as well. And then below that, we put in our email address, and we confirm the email address. After we have all this information filled out, we want to click Register. When you click Register, another window will open up that looks something similar to this and this has our username and our temporary password in it. It'll also send you an email with this information and that's actually what we're looking at here. So we're going to take this information and we're going to enter it into the login page. And then click sign on. When we do that, it's going to take us to a privacy and security statement, and we have to accept the terms below and click Submit. And then it's going to want us to create our own password, and it's got some guidelines for you here to follow when creating that password. And click Continue. And then once that's complete, you're in the resident portal. Well, hopefully, this tutorial has helped you with creating an online resident portal account. If for any reason you are still unable to create that account, then you can contact your property manager and they will help you to resolve the issue. So, thanks for watching, and don't forget to make it a great day.